All right, so we're checking out the uh, Yixing P40 in this video, another uh, microplane. And this is, uh, I don't know how, how, which number this is in the series uh, of Yixing microplanes. I've got the Corsair, the T28, the Spitfire. I've done videos on all those. I'll have a playlist down in the video description if you want to check it out. Um, as usual, they've got some nice scale detail on here. And, you know, pretty good paint job overall. I did not put the landing gear on this one, uh, just the tail is on, already pre-installed. Standard battery as before, 1S 400 milliamp hour aileron, elevator rudder control, and then you got a two-bladed prop in the front here. Uh, you, you do get a spare two-bladed prop and also a tri-bladed prop, and those, I believe these are the ones that break away. Um, I expect this to fly similarly to the other ones. Uh, I am also using the multi-protocol module on my jumper radio uh, using the V761 protocol. I'll link that video, the tutorial for how to set that up in your multi-protocol radio in the video description as I have done in previous videos. Okay, so let's go see how this flies. Alright, so I decided to put the wheels on just because I think it's going to affect the CG. Alright, see how it flies. Uh, bad. <laughs> Stalled out there. Ooh, that's just why they give you some spare props. Yeah, it looks like the motor's okay. All right, try it one more time. New prop. That does. A downwind. Pretty fast. So it does fly slow. Downwind is pretty fast. You gotta maintain your airspace. That's why I stalled on the uh, last seg segment here. Yeah, it wants to balloon up. It's uh, I think the CG is a little bit off, but I think the gyro. I've been trying to calibrate it with it pointed with the nose pointing down, but it still wants to kind of balloon up. So I think it might need more weight in the front. So I thought maybe putting the uh, wheels on would make a difference, but it didn't seem like it, it made much of a difference. Yeah, just uh, make sure you put a lot of rudder into your turns. It seems to fly okay. You just got to maintain your airspeed. That's the that's the that's the thing. And if you drop the throttle, it seems like a gyro kind of goes kind of weird in this one. I'm not sure why. I mean, it's same. It's the same gyro as far as I can tell is that it's on the other model. So it's possible this one has a has an issue, or maybe they changed the programming a little bit 
every time they serve, they, 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 every time they come with a new model, they do tweak it a little bit. It seems like it's, but the differences are pretty mild. I mean, things like the wind and the CG and stuff are going to have probably a bigger effect. And it's getting pretty windy right now, but it's handling it okay. And the turns, you gotta, you gotta be careful. That turn, don't turn too sharp. I'm almost going backwards here. Wow, I am going backwards. Look at that, it's just hovering basically there. It, the wind is pretty strong. Oh, we got a hawk here or something. Checking out the plane. Oh, that wind is super strong and it's gonna cause it to stall all right i think i've had enough fun with this one i think when the wind is making this very difficult to fly these little little planes don't like the wind and they're very hard to fly in a strong winds. So i'm gonna bring it in for a landing here see if i can bring it in for a landing without wrecking it Now bring it behind me and take it land in a parking lot. No, 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 stall. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. Whoa. Come on down. As soon as you get it into the wind, it just goes straight up. Wow, this is uh, pretty challenging to land. Hopefully the prop is still on. No, nope, prop broke off, but that's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. All right, guys. It looks like that wheel's bent back. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you guys later.